Ma'am Tintin, tuloy-tuloy tayo. Yes. So, good morning again, good, good afternoon, afternoon, and good, good evening, evening. Matibay Babies. Okay, so let's proceed with Mojo. Oh, meron kong nakalimutan. Ano yun? Welcome to... Ah, welcome to... Matibay Class. Class. <laughs> Gano'n? Huwag mo kalimutan yung intro. Huwag mo kalimutan yung intro natin kung Ulitin malakas natin at palakas. <laughs> Liwag na, bawal tayo na. sa Module 12. <laughs> okay, let's proceed to Module 11. Our Module 11 is all about... Ayan na naman. Graphing sign and cosine function. <laughs> Grabe yung natawa ko dun sa... Yan na naman. <laughs> Graphing sign and cosine function. Yes. And we have two objectives. Okay? May, oh, may palipad. <laughs> Ito pa. Tingnan oh. mo nakita. Kita mo ba? <laughs> Ay, meron isa lang pala yung objective natin. Isa lang. Okay? And that is to find the amplitude. Period. Phase. Shift or displacement of a given trigonometric equation. Equation. Sarap matuto, no? Ang dami oh. nating binibigay sa ating mga anak. And they deserve it. Yes. Okay. And nare-refresh din yung memories natin. Yes. Okay. So, unahin natin si amplitude. Pag sinabi natin amplitude, it is the half, the difference of the maximum and the minimum value of a periodic function. And it is the number, take note of this, absolute value of y is equal to a sin x or y is equal to a cos and x. Mamaya, mas maintindihan nila yes, yan. Yes, kung di nyo maintindihan na, tulog. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> taray, taray. <laughs> Next, we have... The period. The period yun ba yung... Yung tuldok? Iba? Iba yun? Ang pangit. Ay, yung pangit. Na <laughs> <laughs> the period of the function y is equal to sin bx and y is equal to cosine bx is 2 pi all over b. Yes. Mamaya, ma'am. Maintindihan nila yan. Yeah. And last, Asan na? Ayan. We have phase shift. We have y is equal to a sine quantity bx positive or negative c. And y is equal to a cosine uh, quantity bx positive or negative c. Sikat na sikat yun yun, ma'am. Yung phase shift. Ano yun? Yung nilalagay natin sa ano? Sa? Ay, face shield yun. <laughs> face shield. Gosh, I'm so slow. <laughs> slow mo. <laughs> Ayan. So, tama na ang... The, no. the graph of sine and cosine curve is either shifted to the left or, or to, to the, the right. right. Kaya nakikita natin sa, yes. sa ano. Uh, ito yung sa bandang left or ito yung sa bandang right. right. B all over C is greater than zero, the shift is to the right. Ganon. If C all over B is less than zero, then the shift is to the left. Oh. Parang sa Cartesian plane yes. natin kapag, yan. Kapag, Positive numbers, right. right. Negative numbers, numbers, left. left. The number C all over B is called the face shield. I shift. <laughs> the face <laughs> Nagpapata face lang kami shield. Yan. Okay. So, to further explain that, Siyempre. let's go on with our... At kailangan nilang makita ang ating mga daliri. <laughs> <laughs> And now, Ma'am Tintin, let's now find the amplitude, period, phase shift, or displacement of a given trigonometric equation. And you know what, Ma'am Tintin? Meron ako dito. Wow! Okay. The summary in identifying the amplitude, period, and phase shift of the six trigonometric functions. Oh, so, take note na. Ito ang formula ng ating amplitude. Ito po ang ating period. At ito po ang ating phase shift. Okay, meron tayong anim. Sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, and... Uh, cosecant. Mali ito. Yeah. Cotangent and... Cosecant. Cosecant. Yan. Yeah. Okay, nag-i-enjoy yung mga estudyante natin dyan nun, ma'am. Kasi pinamemorize natin. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Swerte nila kasi hindi nila yan. Na-experience. Yung nagkakanta-ugaga sila okay. sa loob ng classroom. And let's have this. Okay? We have y is equal to 2 sine times 2x minus pi all over 2. Okay? Our problem is, let's find first our a, our b, our b, and, and our c. c. Our a is our, what we call amplitude, our b is our period and phase shift, letter c. Okay? Ang a natin dito, based on our table, okay, ito raw yung a, ibig sabihin, yung numerical coefficient bago ang trigonometric function, which is 2. two. Next, B, yung kasama ng X, 2, okay? Yes. And C is the la last term, which is negative pi all over 2. Since alam na natin, kapatid, yung A, B, and C, using this table, malalaman na natin ang amplitude, period, and phase shift. Since sign yan, dito po tayo sa number 
1. Nakakasunod, ma'am. What is now our amplitude? Amplitude is A daw. Ang amplitude, sabi ng ating table, ang amplitude natin is A, and our A is equal to 2. Answer. Sarap ng may table. Basic. Basic. Period. Ang formula daw ng period ng sign is 2 pi all over absolute, absolute value, value of, B. of B. Ano man yan, hindi siya mag pwedeng mag-negative. Mag -negative. Okay? 2 pi is constant all over B. Absolute value is 2. Tama mong tintin? Yes. 2 divided by 2? Cancel. Canceled. So, our period is pi. pi. Next, amplitude. Ay, amplitude. <laughs> phase shift. Phase, phase shi shift. Hello, phase shield. <laughs> Spaceship. Okay. The formula is negative C all over B. Let's substitute. Negative. Our C is? Negative, negative pi, pi all over, over two. 2. Divided by B. Our B is? 2. two. Alam natin na lahat ng ating... Um, denominator a whole number and the last whole number ay mayroong imaginary one. denominator of 1 okay negative times negative mam tintin positive positive pi all over 2 all over 2, two. all over 1 okay cross multiply pi divided by 1 dito ko na isusulat sorry na po pi divided by 1 is pi, pi. all over 2 times 2 4, four. so the phase shift is 4 okay, okay. alam na natin ang amplitude ang period at phase shift <laughs> ng ating y is equal to 2 sine times 2x minus pi all over 2. Okay. Ayan. So, take note mga anak that f of x is also equal to y. So, wag kayong mabother kung y yung example ni Sir Jason kanina. Parahas lang po yun. Okay. And, I would just like to add na ito po is wala sa inyong um, module. So, kindly screenshot. Anyways, magsisend pa rin ako sa GC natin. Ito ang gagamitin nating formulas in finding our amplitude, period, and Facial. Bibili ako lang lima. One, two, three, four, five. Ayaw ko. Mind ball pen. <laughs> okay. So, let's solve for the amplitude period and phase shift of 12 cosine 2x minus pi all over 8. But first, kunin natin si A, kunin natin si B, at kunin natin si C. Sabi natin, ang A natin ay yung numerical coefficient bago ang trigonometric function. So, we have 12. 12. Letter B, yung kasama ni X. We have 2. two. And letter C, do not forget your sign. We have negative, negative pi, all pi all over 8. Paano yes. kung wala yan? A Paano kung wala lang? yan? Lahat is merong numerical one. coefficient na 1. No, no, so, okay. ang numerical coefficient natin dyan is 1. Next, cosine po tayo. So, dito tayo kay cosine. Okay, at ang formula ng amplitude is simply A. A. So, ang ating amplitude, amplitude daw is our A, which is equal to 12. Therefore, 12 ang ating amplitude. Next, our period. Our period is 2 pi all over B. So, we have 2 absolute pi value. all over absolute value of B. Substitute, yung 2 pi po natin is constant and our B is 2. two. So, maski negative yung B mo, magiging positive, positive pa rin kasi siya. absolute, absolute value. value. Pag absolute value, it is always in a Regardless positive of the sign. form. Yes. 2 pi divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 or pwede mo siyang simply canceled mm -hmm. out. At ang naiwan ulit ay C pi. pi. Ito ang ating period. And for our phase shift, we have Ito po, negative C all over B. So, negative C all over B. At ang ating C ay negative, A. negative pi all over 8, all over B is 2. Sabi ni Sir Jason kanina, lahat merong imaginary denominator of 1. But first, negative times negative is positive. So, dito ko na siya isosolve. We have pi all over 8, all over 2 all over 1. Cross multiply, inside, inside, outside, outside. 8 times 1. Mm. Sorry, pi, pi times 1. one we pi. have pi all over 1 or pi. 
8 times 2 is? 16. 16. So, ibig sabihin ng ating face shift is pi all over 16. Ganun lang po kasimple ang paghanap ng um, amplitude, period, and time. Again, take note of this one. Screenshot, gagamitin natin yan, lalo na pagdating ng exams. May gusto pa akong malaman. Ano yun, kapatid? Paano kung gusto kong i-graph yan? Ayun! Paano kung gusto mong i-graph? Kasi yun naman ang ating main for this Topic. Asa na yung pre-prepare ko? Sila. <laughs> Example of graphing sine and cosine. Eto na. We, all, we also have y is equal to 2 sine x. Gagawin natin yung ginawa natin kanina. Hahanapin natin yung amplitude. Yeah, steps na lang, ma'am. Parin yes. sa Hanapin natin yung amplitude period. But this time, ang hahanapin natin ay si 5 key points. Hindi po si phase shift. So, unahin natin si number 1. Hanapin natin ang kanyang amplitude. amplitude. At kagaya ng sinabi natin kanina, ang amplitude daw natin ay, ay, ay ang A or yung number numerical coefficient bago ang trigonometric function. So, ang amplitude natin ay 2. Next, second step, hahanapin natin ang period. period. At ang formula natin sa paghanap ng period ng sine ay 2 pi all over B. So, we have 2 pi all over B. At ang B natin ay... Absolute yun, Absolute value of B. At ang B natin ay... 1. Yung kasama ni X, we have 1. 2 pi divided by 1. 2 pi. 2 pi. So, ang ating period ay 2 pi. Next, third step, hahanapin natin ang... Take note of this. 5 key F -K -P points. FKP or ang tinatawag na 5 key points. Paano natin mahahanap yon? Just by adding using this formula. So, ano yung formula natin in getting yung 5 key points? We have period divided by 4. Okay, okay so let's solve period divided by 4. Ang period natin ay 2 pi. So, we have dito na lang we have 2 pi all over 4. They are both divisible by 2. 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 times pi. We have pi all over 2. Since meron ka na yan, pwede na nating makuha ngayon ang ating 5 key points. Yes. Ano yung first? Zero. Ya add mo lang yeah. yung ano ma'am, dalawang beses. mag add ka lang po ng pi, pi all over 2 ng limang beses. limang beses hanggang umabot ka sa ating pang fifth. Uh -oh. Pero yung pinaka first natin, syempre ang gagamitin muna natin ay si? Zero. Zero. Oh. Yan ang ating first. Second, Second. zero plus pi, pi all over two. At kapag pinag plus mo yan, pi all over two. We will get pi all over 2. Meron ka na ngayon. Next, eto na yung ating pang second. For our third, pi all over 2. Okay. Gagamitin mo naman yan. We have pi all over 2 plus pi all over 2. Plus mo lagi two. yung pi, pi all yes. over 2. Aha. Since pareha sila ng anong tawag dyan? Copy. Ng denominator, pi plus pi? 2 pi. 2 pi all over 2 or pi. Pi, ay cancelled out ang naiwan ay si pi. Next, for our fourth, gagamitin mo to. So, we have pi plus, plus pi, all pi all over 2. It is equal to, o yan, meron ka dyan ang 1. Ano ang kanilang two. least common multiple? 2. 2 times 1, 2 divided by 1. 2, two times pi. 2 pi. Two pi plus pi. Times pi, we have pi. So, we have 3 pi over all over 2. Yan ang Bilugan ating pang 4. 1, 2, two three, 3, 4. Isa na lang hinahanap natin. Ulitin namin mga anak, ang lagi nating ina-add is pi all over 2 kasi yun ang ating nakuha yes. doon. Next, fifth. Medyo mahaba. Is equal to 3 pi all over 2. 3 pi all over 2 plus pi all over 2. Again, pareha sila ng denominator. So, just simply copy. 3 pi plus pi. 4 pi. 4 pi. They are both divisible by 2. Tama? Mm, two pi. So, 2, ay 4 divided by 2 is 2, two pi. Ito 1, so there's no need for us to write it down. Okay? Ayan. Oh, may table na. Okay. Since alam na natin ang 5 key points, 0 pi all over 2 pi, 3 pi all over 2, and 2 pi, let's now proceed on graphing. Kagaya ng ginagawa natin, 
Kabago tayo mag-graph, magkakaroon tayo ng table of values. Okay? So, let's have our table of values. Ito na po. Sa ating table of values, mga anak, meron tayong x at meron tayong y is equal to 2 sine of x. Kung napapansin nyo, yung mga nasa x natin, mga anak, ay yun ang ating 5 key, key points. points. Okay? Ngayon, kung paano nakuha yung y, aalamin natin ngayon na. Ayan. Ayan. So, para makuha natin ang values ni x, gamit po ang ating y is equal to 2 sine of x. Siyempre, magsasubstitute lang tayo. Isasubstitute natin yung value ng ating um, x. x. Pa pero, para mas madali, para, uh, ayun nga, para mas, mas madali, i-convert muna natin yung radian form again and again into our degree form. So, may sagot natin. naman na yung iba, ma'am. May sagot ng iba, nilagay ko na para hindi masyadong mahaba. Pero, Ay. ipapakita ko pa rin kung paano yan nakuha. Okay. Okay. So, we have pi all over 2, i-convert mo siya. Ito tayo, ha. I-convert mo siya into degree. So, 180 all over pi. Pi times 180? 180 pi. 2 times pi? 2 pi. And 180 divided by 2 is? 90. Canceled, canceled. We have 90 degrees. At kapag isosolve mo yan, we have y. Equal to 90 degrees mo. It is equal to 90 degrees. So, y is equal to 2 sine 90 degrees. Ang makukuha nating sagot ay 2 sine 90 is equal to 2. Okay? Therefore, if our x is 90 degrees or 2 pi or pi all over 2, ang ating magiging y is equal to 2. So on and so forth. Since kompleto na yung ating table of values, pwede na tayo ngayon mag... Graph. Alam na nila yan. Ayan. Using our... Kunwari, perfect yung graphing table na <laughs> yung Cartesian plane natin. Okay? So, ipa-plot natin. Unahin natin si 0 and 0. Ang 0 and 0 natin ay, syempre, okay. nandito. Next, 90 degrees and 2. Or para mas madali, kunin pi natin ang decimal two. point. We have, um, shift pi all over 2 is equal to 1.57. So, ito po ay 1.57 Ang 1.57 natin ay 1.5 Kunwari dito At ang ating Y ay 2 1.2 So nandito siya Next, pi Ilan ang equivalent ng pi? 3.1416 Or 3.14 So equivalent niya ay 3.14 Ang X mo ay 1, 2, 3 at ang y mo ay... 3.14. Sorry. Ang x mo ay 3.14. 1, 2, 3.14. At ang y mo ay 0. So, dito lang siya nag-stay. Next, 3 pi all over 2. Ilan ang decimal point niyan? 3 pi all over 2. 4.71. 4.71. And negative 2? 1, 2, 3, 4.71. Let's say, nandito siya ay negative 2 sa baba. Negative 1, negative 2. Nandito. Next, 2 pi. Ilan ang 2 pi? 6.28. Ayan, 6.28. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6.28 and 0. Nandito siya. So, pag i-graph mo yan, syempre, magsisimula ka sa 0. Sundan mo lang yan. Ganyan, ganyan, and ganyan. So, yan po ang ating magiging graph. Ang interpretation natin, Sir Jason, ay... Since positive po itong ating given... Yes. Ang shift po niya ay... Nagpunta sa right. right. Kasi po, ang right side natin ay positive. Again, mga anak, pinadali lang namin para mas madali natin i-graph or i-plot yung ating mga pi. I-convert mo muna siya into decimal point. So, that's it. Thank, Thank you, you so Matibay much. Babies. Okay, alam hmm. natin, napahirap ng mahirap. Pero, <laughs> Pero kailangan kaya, natin, kaya natin kaya yan. Yan. Dahil tayong lahat ay hashtag Matibay. Matibay. Paalam everyone.